Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Seattle Mariners franchise here on MLB The Show 19. Don't forget to drop a like as well as subscribe if you're new to the channel and enjoy the content. We've got four franchises on this channel. It's franchise content all day, every day, as Malik Smith going to start off this game with a single up the middle into center field. Base hit for Malik Smith. Now Steven Nakajima coming up, and the Indians going to take care of that with a double play. Now Xander Bogart's coming up, and he's going to rip one into deep left field. And that one is out of here. Xander Bogart's gives us a 1-0 lead over Cleveland. Now Cleveland up to bat, and look at that one, all the way back to the warning track. Malik Smith able to take care of it, though. Bottom two, it's Domingo Santana roping one into left. It's off the wall, and Santana going to get a double here, sliding into second base. Now Fernando Mortero going to put one through. And it cannot be handled by the second baseman. So here comes Santana to the plate. He's going to get called out. And that will end the inning there. Now top three. Look at this. Justice Sheffield with a major league start. And he's striking out batters left and right. Here's Miguel Andujar. And there he goes. Striking out some guys. Now to the top of the six. He strikes out Carlos Santana. He strikes out DJ LeMayhew. He's got Lindor, and he strikes him out. So all three outs by way of strikeout. Here's Zimmer getting struck out. Now we bring in Jamie Castilla late in the ball game here with that one nothing lead. That could have been 2 nothing possibly if uh, Santana held, held up at third. But here is a double into the right field corner, and that could start trouble here for Cleveland, a leadoff double. LeMahieu off Castilla going to hit it up into center field, and that's going to put runners on the corners with nobody out here in the top of the eighth. And we're going to bring in Henry Villalobos, as we did not like what Jamie Castilla was bringing to the table here. So in comes Villalobos, and there's a ground ball taken care of at second, going for two and can't get it. It's going to bring home the tying run. Here we go, and that's going to try for a double play here. Not going to get it again. So two straight double plays missed. Here's Andahar. He's going to ground out over to third base. That takes care of that. But we have a tie ball game going into the ninth. Luis Avian coming in for the Cleveland Indians here. And that's going to be a strikeout by Shed Long. He will get to first base, however, on the overthrow. So an error there. Now Nakajima going to come up, but that's going to ground into a double play and take care of that. So top of the ninth, Lindor, barely a tapper here, and that's going to be thrown on to first for the out. Now Carlos Santana, 0 for 3 today, but this time he's going to get a hit through his shift. And that's going to put a runner on for Tyler Naquin, who is also going to get a hit here in the top of the ninth. Two on, one away. Bradley Zimmer is going to hit into an infield fly rule. So that is going to be an out. And here is Ramirez. And he was going to strike out to end that threat. Now Brad Hand coming on to pitch in the bottom of the ninth. He's got Bogarts up. And that's going to be grounded on to Lindor. Thrown on to Carlos Santana for out number one. Here's Chris Davis. Crush Davis going to hit that one on to the second baseman. And he is easily thrown out at first as well. Mitch Hanniger comes up. He's going to get one through into right field. And that'll just go as a single. But it puts a runner on with two away. And Santana with a drive deep to center field. Warning track power. And we move into extras. Free baseball here in Seattle. Joe Jimenez coming to the mound to pitch to the Indians. And he's got DJ LeMahieu up first. He's going to strike him out. Now Josh Reddick up. And he is going to hit away from the shift. And no way we're going to get him out. Easy, cheap hit there. Now Jose Ramirez comes up, and that's a grounder on to second. We take care of the lead runner, but we cannot get the double play here. So Endahar now 
with one on, and he's going to get a single. So now two on, two away for Lindor, who's going to hit one perfectly down the left field line. And that is going to bring the leading run home to the plate. A 2-1 lead for the Indians. Here's Carlos Santana, and he is taken care of in left field. But now the Mariners got some work, and Ryan Healy going to start off the inning, the half inning, with a hit. So in comes Fernando Mortero, who hits one into center, but it is right into a glove. Now Shed Long is going to strike out in our last hope here. Malik Smith, he will strike out as well. So we will go down to the Cleveland Indians 2-1. to one. Joe Jimenez with the loss. Brad Hand with the win. Bogarts with a home run in this game. Mortero was 2-4. for four. He was pretty impressive as well. Josh Reddick had an RBI, as well as Lindor for the Indians. Kluber goes seven innings, allows one earned run with two strikeouts. And for our squad, pretty much everybody except Nakajima and Shed Long got hits in this one, which is encouraging. Bogarts with the only run scored off of the solo shot. Sheffield goes seven innings, allows two hits, seven strikeouts. Very good outing from Justice Sheffield. Excited to see what he could do if he was in the rotation all season long. So here we go into the next game. Toronto Blue Jays, same record as us, 24-20. and 20. You're going to see first action as a Mariner for Zach Cozart in this one. Well, I mean, he's had action before, but as far as watching the game Zach Cozart you will see some action from him but there is a hit in the first inning that's going to put two on with two out for Crush Davis and he's going to get that to fall in center field and that is going to bring the first run of the game home it'll be one nothing we have first outing being shown here by Derek Rodriguez who gets the strikeout there now Malik Smith going to get one down in left field he's so good oppo field like that and now Steven Base Nakajima going to hit that one into the gap in right center field. Shopping gap. Wink, wink, Octi. But there we go. A triple for Nakajima. That's going to bring one home. It'll be 2 nothing. Here's Xander Bogarts. He's going to hit one at second base. And he boots it. Can't handle it. It'll be 3 nothing now. And Hanniger comes up and hits it to right. He can't handle it. He dives for it and misses. And that's going to get by and will cause another run to score. And Hanniger will get a triple out of it. But we don't do anything with Hanniger on base. There's Rodriguez with another strikeout. He had two on, none out. But here's a hit into right field. Now bases loaded on Rodriguez. What will he do here? He is going to get a strikeout right there. And now another chance, and that's going to be a ground ball taken care of. Rodriguez out of a huge jam. Now he's got Bo Bichette up. He's going to strike him out with a fastball. And then here another strikeout for Rodriguez. Now bottom four with two out. He ends the inning with a strikeout. Here's another two outs in the bottom of the fifth. He gets the strikeout, but they had to throw on to first. Now with one on, there's a strikeout of Paul Goldschmidt. There's another strikeout. Just having a hell of an outing, Derek Rodriguez. Top seven, there's going to be a hit for Malik Smith. And he's going to get into second easily with a double and that's going to set up the Mariners here with base Nakajima. Not a base hit this time, but he will move Malik Smith over and leave room for Xander Bogarts. He's going to ground out to short, but that's going to bring Malik Smith in for the fifth run of the ball game. So now Vladdy Jr. up against Derek Rodriguez, and he's going to get struck out. And now top of the eighth inning, there is a hit. That's going to fall into center field. For a hit, going to stretch it to two, and he will get there. Very nice hit right there. Here's Omar Narvaez, and he's going to put one into left. That's dive for, and it cannot be handled. And he's going to come home, and Santiago going to get gunned down at the plate. So still 5 nothing. Here's Zach Cozart, and he's going to pop this one into center for the final out of the top half of the inning. 
Joe Jimenez now coming in for the Mariners. So here we go on a 5-0 game, bottom eight, and with two outs, he's going to give up a double, well, what would be a double in the right field corner, but it's only a single, surprisingly. But then he gets the strikeout to end the inning. Here comes Ken Giles, and he is coming in. I don't really know why. It's 5 nothing. There's not a reason for him to come in, but he's coming in to get some work. He's going to give up a hit right away, a leadoff single. So now up against Tommy Pham gets the strikeout. Vladdy Jr. going to hit one down the right field line. That's going to count as a fair ball, and that is going to put runners on second and third with only one out. So here, there's a strikeout of Teoscar Hernandez and a strikeout of Devin Travis to end the ball game. Derek Rodriguez, your player of the game, he goes seven innings, gives up four hits, but he gets ten strikeouts. Malik Smith goes four for five in this one. Nakajima, two for four with a double and a ribby. And Mitch Hanniger, three for four with a triple and a ribby. So, very nice to see. Bogarts goes hitless, however, but he gets two RBIs in the game. So, very interesting. Padilla goes 0 for 4. He might have to go down to AAA or something. But Derek Rodriguez, very nice first outing for his first um, shown outing with the club. Love seeing that. So, now we are going to go back home to Seattle. We're 30 and 26, and we're going to take on the 30 and 24 Pittsburgh Pirates. And we have four cold batters, so hopefully something can happen here. Yaziel Sierra making a spot start. He did that last year. He's doing it again. Got some hurt players on a roster, so he gets a start here, and he gives up a hit right away. Gives up another hit right away, and that's two on. Nobody out here for Pittsburgh. Josh Bell going to take a walk right there. Then Alex Lynch Jr. going to ground into what would be a double play, but they cannot get it at first base. Called safe there. We got runners on the corners. There's a nice strikeout. Two outs now with the runners on the corners. And a web gem right there at second base to end the threat there. Here comes Malik Smith, and he is going to get a hit into center field. It's always dangerous when he's on base, and Mitch Hanniger hits it into center field. Malik's going to turn second and get over to third quite easily. So runners on the corners. Crush Davis going to come up, barely taps that one. He'll get thrown out at first base, but the run comes in to tie the ball game. So now Domingo Santana, and can't handle that one. At shortstop, that'll put runners on the corners for Shed Long. And he has got this one into the gap in left center. That'll go for a ground rule double and bring home a run. It'll be 2-1. to one. There's a hit right there up the middle, and that's going to be a two-run single. As safe at the plate is Shed Long. So a 4-1 ball game. Omar Narvias Oppo Field down the left field line. A perfect hit, and that is going to put runners on the corners with two outs. Here in the bottom of the first for Zach Cozart, who is going to ground out to third base. But Yaziel Sierra has plenty of working room, and he's going to need it because that's another hit right there. Hanniger having trouble out in right field. So Sierra again hitting, and that's going to be another hit into right field. And again, trouble with it is Hanniger. And that's going to put two on, none out for the second inning in a row. Now two on, one out, and there's a nice little web gem. So now with two outs, there's the ground ball, and that will end the threat for the Pirates. So bottom three, we got Shed Long, and he is going to put one into right field with two outs. That's going to put him aboard for Fernando Mortero to jack one out of left field here. Left center field for a big homer. That's going to make it 6-1 to one until Corey Dickerson off of Yazil Sierra near the end of his outing. That is a big homer, but it's only a solo shot. 6-2, to two. Dan Altavilla coming into the game now. He's pitched in eight games. He has a 470 ERA. Not that incredible, but he will pitch to Frazier and strike him out. Then he will pitch to Josh Bell and get the strikeout on the inside of the plate. Alex Lynch Jr. going to hit a dribbler, 
And taken care of by Alta Villa and thrown out. Very nice. Top of the ninth inning, he's got Colin Moran up, and that is a deep one. Right center field could hit the wall, but Malik Smith with a nice catch. Corey Dickerson coming up now, and he will get a hit into right field. That'll put a man on. Maybe a little rally starter. We'll see. There's a walk right there. Now Cervelli up. He's going to hit one, and that's going to get through. Bases loaded on Alta Villa with only one out. He's got a pitch to a double play ball, but instead he gets a strikeout. And now it's going to be a dribbler over to first, easily taken care of, and the Mariners will win the ball game. Fernando Mortero is your player of the game with a home run, four RBIs today. Alex Lynch Jr., he had an RBI, but he was 0 for 4 today. His 23rd RBI of the year. Archer falls to 7-3 and three with the loss for Pittsburgh. Nakajima and Crush Davis go hitless today, as well as Zach Cozart. Everyone else pretty much had two hits, just about. Mortero has his sixth homer of the year. Yaziel Sierra goes to 4-0, and oh, seven innings with two earned runs. So now it is draft time. And here in the first round of the draft, White Sox get the first pick. We end up with the 27th pick. And our first round pick is going to be Antonio Montez. He was one of our more scouted players. We're going to bring him in, see what happens. Another outfielder in the second round, Christopher Saunders. Another guy that we had very much scouted. Now we're taking a little bit more of guesses. We're going to go with starting pitcher Fernando Rodriguez. We bring him in. Then catcher Ray Britt. Going lower on the scouting accuracy here, but I want to get different positions. Now we're kind of forced into Francesco Ruiz, another center fielder, because... Well, we scouted him. Now, we didn't scout Michael Sheehan at all, but we're going to take a chance on that relieving pitcher because it definitely helps us out. So, as we take a look at what these guys were, look at Montez, a 63B potential. Saunders, a 57B potential. So, we're getting B potentials. Fernando Rodriguez, a 69. He's already the best player on the team. B potential. So, looking pretty good. Ray Britt, though is kind of a waste of time 43 overall c potential ruiz we were pushed into him and he's not bad 52 b at least we get a b there michael sheehan maybe we could see him in the majors next year who knows a 73 c so not too bad for a six round pick 27th overall Next episode, we are going to take on the New York Yankees. That is right, and we have a marquee pitching matchup for you for the storyline of this series. The Blue Jays lead the East, though. They're six and a half games up on the New York Yankees. The Orioles are actually in contention, which is very interesting. Red Sox and Rays are both not very good. The Indians lead the Central by eight and a half games, and we lead the West by four and a half games. There are four teams in the race there. The A's and the Orioles hold the wild card right now. Yankees two and a half out. If you look, the Angels are also there at one and a half and the Astros at a half. So a lot of very good teams. Phillies lead the NL East. Reds in the Central. Rockies and Dodgers tied for the West. So that's going to be interesting. Brewers, Dodgers with the wild card lead. Stauffer is out two to three weeks. Anthony Siegler, one to two months. But Rendon is coming back for this game against the Yankees. It's going to be interesting. I can't wait. It's going to be Dallas Keuchel, Trevor Bauer. Don't forget to drop a like on this episode. Subscribe if you are new. Let me know what you think going forward. Do we beat the Yankees? We're going for the sweep. Again, franchise content all day, every day here on Franchise Gaming. See you all on the next one. You're a pretty little star boy.